yeah, okay. It's not using Jewish people now. Stands up at the, uh, the light right here. Uh, turns around, sees me, walks towards me, takes out his phone. <laughs> you see? Right? Look at him, look at him standing there. You see? <laughs> I tell you, they, they they move from group to group. Okay, when you um, when you study this program, you see how they move from group to group, and then they use a combination of of groups together, right? So whether you're white, black, Asian, uh, you know, Hispanic, or Latinx. Jewish, right? There are times when they will uh, use one group exclusively, and then they'll use a combination of all groups together when they're targeting you. So just understand that as a TI. And again, the initial response they try to elicit is, uh, you know, one of uh, dislike, disdain, hatred for that particular group that they use an exclusive view to target you but again this is all to pray uh, pray on your uh, you know emotions right and you got to look at it in a bigger picture of how they get groups as a whole to hate on certain other groups right for example how they get people to hate on Mexicans uh, how they get uh, majority of ethnic groups to hit on black people okay <laughs> so understanding this is key right because you remember they try to they're trying to create a negative uh, psychological conditioning within your mind so that you will always think in a negative manner you know in order to make you paranoid uh, to uh, break your mind all right to create a split personality within your mind okay again this is what i talk about how it's important that we learn about uh psychology all right i talk about this it's important that we learn about psychology and we learn about these psychological conditioning because if you don't okay and you're a ti and you don't have any knowledge of these things uh they will um continue to emotionally manipulate you right so the three important things when it comes to uh, brainwashing and conditioning that they do right is one to control your environment okay and the people around it two to emotionally manipulate you to give them control of your emotions Right? Three is the repetitious nature of the conditioning. So when things are being done repeatedly in front of you, it is a form of conditioning. Though you may not realize it at first because it's supposed to bypass your consciousness and embed itself in your subconscious uh, mind. Right? Uh, eventually, some of us will wake up and see the patterns and what's going on. Right? And I know I said three, but it, it, let me put in another, another one. Okay? And that is to the, and that is the financial aspect. Right? The, the economic aspect is to uh, deprive you of any financial or economic support right whether it be employment whether it be loss of business whether it be uh, using the state and the federal government to come after you in terms of you know in terms of using the IRS use tax you know taxes and stuff like that if you have a car they'll have ticket agents write you tickets for no reason right and sometimes when they write you tickets they wouldn't even put the tickets on your car okay and the next thing you know six months from now you get a letter saying that you owe such and such in in uh traffic tickets right 
and you can't dispute it. You can say, well, you know, I never got the ticket, but you know, when they have the judges in their pockets, right, it's very hard. So these are the things that they do, right? Using the system, right? And also using the administrative people within the system to uh, target you in such a way. So let me give you, tell you guys the mood right now. <laughs> I guess because I uploaded the video <clears throat> yet, uh, this earlier today, you know, after them sending me some message about uh, being arrested, if I talk about what it is that they're doing. So, you know, <laughs> the mood is like they're very, uh, oh watch, gotta be great he, he works up from the, at the firehouse, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that like I said, they don't bring out the fire truck. Let me look at this watch. Yeah, see, they don't bring out the fire truck, but they bring out the firemen. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, they will, they will uh, shift their their target in a way. All right, look at she's coming out here, pulling her mask down, looking at me. Look, see, <laughs> right? So, again. Trying to do hand signals and stuff, but anyway, as I was saying, so the the mood is one of now they're going back into their hole and try to be very sneaky in terms of with the noise campaign. But uh, I see some lights flashing down that way. All right, but again. They're, they're keeping it hush hush, right? So you don't hear any noise. You don't hear any um, siren, but I definitely see the, see the lights flashing. But again, this is how they, like I said, they'll readjust and then they'll come back out of their hole when it's uh, time again to uh, do a blitz or they feel they have an opportunity to which I might. Uh, you know, uh, I might have let down my guard, right? Okay. Yep. So this is this is what they do. <laughs> All right. And then uh, uh, Pam had called me uh, a few minutes ago before I step up, and uh, this time when she said bye, she. She didn't repeat it, saying it over and over again. So, you know, it just goes to show you that uh, they know what they're doing is illegal, right? But they continue to do it anyway because, again, they can always fall back on, you know, the psychological aspect of the psych uh, the sale, you know. But, you know, I talked about this in the Curse of Persuasion program, so, you know. Uh, this is, I think, maybe if I'm remembering correctly, might be tactic uh, seven, right? So, in which they will use the threat of uh, psychological illness, physical illness, um, economic collapse, failure to find a mate, uh, disintegration of your relationships. You know, it's it's all classic, right? It is. It is all classic. So, you know, we know what it is. They're not getting away with it. Not gonna let them. No way, no how. So they can label, they can try, what have you. <laughs> but uh, they are not getting away with it. That's for sure. 